beautiful people welcome to my channel beauty with a hammer now if this is your first time here welcome i am so excited that you have clicked on this video i'm going to be showing you exactly what i do to prep my face for a full face of makeup now this is literally the difference between a cakey face and a smooth looking face like this so i'm going to be showing you step by step for prepping your face for a full face of makeup so without further ado let's jump right in so the first thing i'm going to do to get my face ready for a full face of makeup is i'm going to wash my face so you can use the cleanser of your choice i really don't have a go-to cleanser i've tried many cleansers from very expensive ones to like drugstore ones the one i'm going to be using today is by drunk elephant and i got this cleanser through my birthday gift at sephora and so every time it's your birthday you get a free gift i'm going to go ahead and use this jelly cleanser and wash my face i'll be right back whenever you do a full face of makeup or at least for me I want my face to be as smooth as possible anytime in general that you don't exfoliate if you don't have like the smooth like a smooth working surface you're going to see a lot of that cakiness especially as you're adding you know your liquid foundation your primers your powders like contouring all of that if you already start off with a rough a rough surface on your skin it's just gonna get really clumpy really cakey and girl that ain't hot what I've been using for a while and it's a really gentle exfoliator is this exfo uh, exfoliator from Bosha it's exfoliating peel gel I use it about twice a week you're gonna pump out a little bit here you're gonna begin to apply it and do some circular motions with it and as you can see very gently you can begin to see little pieces of like old skin cells <laughs> Remember to do your neck, okay? Don't wanna be looking all kinds of glam on the face and then your neck looks like, ah! I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and I will be right back. I've washed my face and it feels so smooth. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to apply this Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. And I love this. I have been using this for a long time, as you guys can see. There's very little left. I'm just gonna take a little, one of these little cotton rounds and just kind of put this on my face. Now, again, you can use whatever you have at home. Don't, I'm not saying to go out and buy all of these products. The Maraschino um, Facial Spray is a lot cheaper and it does literally the same thing. So once I've applied that, I'm gonna let all of this dry. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some kind of eye cream. I've been using this one here from Sunday Riley. It's the Autocorrect Brightening and Depuffing Eye Cream. Now this is very pricey. Don't believe I'm gonna continue to buy this. Literally any eye cream that you have is gonna work. And so I'm just gonna put a couple of pumps here. And literally with my ring finger, they say that this is the best finger to apply any kind of eye cream. Um, you're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath my eye. And then you always wanna dab. Repeat that on the other side. I haven't really found like a, an eye cream that I'm obsessed with. I've tried many, many, many creams and I can't say that any of them have not really like wowed me. And so again, this is totally like whatever you have on hand, this is just the process that I go through anytime that I am going to be doing a heavy full face of makeup. I'm going to put on a moisturizer. I'm gonna be using this one by Kate Somerville. Now this has SPF in it. Um, and so anytime you have like a moisturizer, it's a good idea to have SPF in it. Now this one is a little bit thick and so I won't be purchasing it again. But hey, I already b bought it, I paid for it, I'm gonna use it. And so I'm just literally going to put on a layer of this moisturizer. But literally, whatever moisturizer you go, like your go-to moisturizer, like you can do that in this step, okay? After, I've after you've applied your moisturizer, the next thing that I like to do, I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Primed and Peachy. Ah! Sorry guys, throwing things at y'all. Uh, this is my favorite primer, literally. This is the Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer by Too Faced and I love it. I am obsessed with this. 
Um, ever since I started using this, like I, this is my go-to. I have a lot of, um, I have combination skin and so I will get very greasy in the T-zone and in my cheeks. This stuff, y'all, will keep your face matte. And just kind of pat it in to my face just like this. And ooh, it smells so good. Not only does it smell super good, but it also um, has like this cooling sensation that feels really good. So I'm gonna work that into my face. Don't forget to work it into your neck as well. And that's all there is to it. That's how I prep my face for a full face of makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on and I'll see you in just a second. I just love how smooth my skin and my makeup look. Um, when I take the time to do these extra steps before I actually apply a full face of makeup, just those extra steps at the beginning before you put on your makeup make a huge difference. It's the difference between cakey and smooth. So don't forget to keep coming back every Thursday. I do post new videos every Thursday. All right, guys, see you guys next time.